Yes! God, let it be true. Let it be true. I really, if there was one wish, it would be for J.J. Ortega Whiteside to get cut. There is a rumor going around that J.J. is already gone. That he is going to get cut. Now, the Eagles have to drop the roster down to 83 by Tuesday. Okay? I don't know if he's going to be within the first wave of cuts, but... This is a really good sign. And to show me that the Eagles are going in the right direction. When they moved J.J. to tight end, it was a lose-lose situation. I'd rather have Tyree Jackson that's on IR, our pup list right now, over J.J. I'd rather have any tight end we have right now. Togai, Richard Rodgers, uh, Jack Stahl, you name it. The Eagles put, Howie Roseman put J.J., in a lose-lose situation. Hence why they moved him from receiver to tight end and everyone thought he was justifying the pick. I didn't think they were justifying the pick because I thought there's no way that this guy's going to be able to block linebackers. There's, there's no way that he's... There's no way! It's, it's just not going to happen. He's a body at camp and that's all it was going into this training camp into preseason. One drop, the one time you're put into a game. I don't know how many snaps. I rewatched that Jets game to see how many snaps he was in. I couldn't really count more than one unless I missed him somewhere else. I couldn't really tell. You guys let me know in the comment section below. But threw to him that one time and dropped it. I mean, I, I, I'm just done. Okay? We could blame Howie for this. And honestly, the rumors are, I, I feel like... Howie Roseman in the past couple of drafts have been doing have have drafted really well, but obviously the rumors with Jeffrey Lurie stepping back after the Sirianni hire, giving giving Howie Roseman more control, okay, making excuses for some of these players and why they're still here when Howie Roseman probably didn't want some of these players that are still here, okay. I totally believe now, not just because of this news. I've always thought this for a while that these picks between Jalen Rager and J.J. Ortega-Whiteside, Jeffrey Lurie was heavily involved. Andy Wydell was heavily involved. There was just more pushback on Howie Roseman that he you know, it said he had the final say, but there was definitely some pushback or something because as soon as Howie Roseman got control, these two drafts have been phenomenal. You had three immediate impact players from this draft in the first preseason game just like that, not even that, JJ going as a, you know, going, luckily there's, you know, for him there's injuries, so maybe he gets a bigger shot, but he really didn't get a bigger shot, even with injuries at tight end, JJ didn't even get more reps, so it shows you they have no faith in JJ, and I'm totally fine with that, this man needs to be cut, they're already going in the right direction, and I'm happy for it, Okay, the Rager thing is obviously there's people that are up and down about it, but I think everybody can agree that JJ is just a big waste of time. And I think we could all, all agree. Okay, how he didn't justify this pick, guys. Moving into tight end didn't justify it. He wasn't going to beat anybody in front of him at wide receiver. He wasn't going to beat. I, I would trust Carrick Weefall, Josh Hammond, the guys that we had at wide receiver at the beginning of training camp than what we had with J.J. Ortega-Whiteside being in that position. Then obviously putting him into the tight end, moving him to tight end, it's a lose-lose for him. Like I said, it, it was a lose-lose from the start. If they wanted to see what was left in him, they want to see like, oh, there's got to be something in him. Let's see if we can get something out of it last year of his contract. They would have gave him more reps in that first preseason, first preseason game. I'm not saying he's not going to get reps. He might actually get targeted one time during that Browns game or something, but targeted once through a whole entire preseason game. Not even, not even at least with, with the tight ends and what you have injury-wise, you're even, at least put they would actually put him with the second team for a couple plays, or they didn't even attempt that. He was almost dead fourth quarter, drop pass. I was just like, Get him off the field. I am done with him. Just waste of time. Never going to get better. Looks slower than slow. Okay, there was video on training camp of his, his route run. Oh, my God, it's bad. It's really bad. So, JJ could be gone. And the Eagles are finally moving in the right direction. And, like I said, the Jalen Rager stuff that's going on now, 
fans are up and down about it. Some fans want Rager here, don't want Rager here. But I think I think a lot of the fan base is going to agree that J.J. just needs to go. Uh, there, there's way too much. There's better talent in front of him at tight end. That, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess the Eagles said, let's put him at tight end. He has a better shot at being a starter at tight end than at wide receiver. I think we could probably say that, but that's a little far-fetched. Baffles my mind. Okay, they put him in a lose-lose situation. He cannot get out of it. And I've heard nothing from J.J. this whole entire training camp. Nothing at all. Okay, to put him at, at a new position on the last year of his contract, it shows what they're trying to do. Kick him the hell out of here. So, you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. I understand a lot of people are probably going to be happy. And like I said, I'm going to say for the millionth time, teams moved in the right direction. They cut him. Actually, the, I don't even care. Whether it's the first line of cuts, they might need him. They might just need him for another game just for a body. But if they really want to cut him by Tuesday, then drop this roster to 83 players by Tuesday. Could happen. So, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you think he'll get cut by the first wave of cuts by Tuesday? Or do you think they'll have him in for one more game? And then once the second uh, wave of cuts happens, I don't know if there's two waves or three waves. I, I think it's two. I'm not sure because I know it was shortened because the preseason games are shorter because you lose your fourth game with only three games. So, other than that, that's pretty much it. Puts a smile on my face. We are lucky to be Eagles fans right now. Going in the right direction. I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.